Arise, shine, for thy light is come. And the glory of the Lord, the mighty I am presence, is risen upon thee. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. But the Lord, the I am that I am, shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. And the Gentiles shall come to thy light, and kings to the brightness of thy rising. Lift up thine eyes round about, and see, Oh, they gather themselves together, they come to thee. Thy sons shall come from far, and thy daughters shall be nursed at thy side. Then thou shalt see, and flow together, and thine heart shall fear, and be enlarged, because the abundance of the sea shall be converted unto thee. The forces of the Gentiles shall come unto thee. The multitude of camels shall cover thee. The dromedaries of Midian and Ephah, and all they from Sheba shall come. They shall bring gold and incense, and they shall show forth the praises of the Lord, the I am that I am. All the flocks of Kedar shall be gathered together unto thee. The rams of Nebaioth shall minister unto thee. They shall come up with acceptance on mine altar. And I will glorify the house of my glory. Who are these that fly as a cloud and as the doves to their windows? Surely the isles shall wait for me. And the ships of Tarshish first to bring thy sons from far, their silver and their gold with them, unto the name of the Lord thy God, and to the Holy One of Israel, because he hath glorified thee. And the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls, and their kings shall minister unto thee. For in my wrath I smote thee, but in my favor have I had mercy upon thee. I have had mercy upon thee. Therefore thy gates shall be open continually. They shall not be shut day nor night, that men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles, and that their kings may be brought. For the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Yea, those nations shall be utterly wasted. The glory of Lebanon shall come unto thee, the fir tree, the pine tree, and the box together, to beautify the place of my sanctuary. And I will make the place of my feet glorious. The sons also of them that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee, and all they that despise thee shall bow themselves down at the soles of thy feet, and they shall call thee the city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Whereas thou hast been forsaken and hated, so that no man went through thee, I will make thee an eternal excellency, a joy of many generations. Thou shalt also suck the milk of the Gentiles, and shalt suck the breast of kings. And thou shalt know that I, the Lord, am thy Savior, and thy Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob. For brass I will bring gold, and for iron I will bring silver, and for wood brass, and for stones iron. I will also make thy officers peace, and thine exactors righteousness. Violence shall no more be heard in thy land, wasting nor destruction within thy borders. But thou shalt call thy walls salvation, 
and thy gates praise. The sun shall be no more thy light by day, neither for brightness shall the moon give thee light unto thee. But the Lord thy God, the mighty I am presence, I am that I am, shall be unto thee an everlasting light, and thy God thy glory. Thy sun shall no more go down, neither shall thy moon withdraw itself, for the Lord shall be thine everlasting light. The Lord shall be thine everlasting light, and the days of thy mourning shall be ended. Thy people also shall be all righteous. They shall inherit the land forever, the branch of my planting, the work of my hands, that I may be glorified. A little one shall become a thousand, and a small one a strong nation. I, the Lord, will hasten it in his time. Elohim of God, I am come in the light of the seventh dispensation to a people who have gathered in a mountain valley to be at peace with their God, to be free in their spirits and their souls enlivened. And these are the lively stones that move themselves from their cots and are forward marching to the sun. Welcome, keepers of the flame. Elohim of God, embrace you. Keepers of the flame, of the light of the Ancient of Days, and the light of Israel, that is of all who art real, is come again, and thou art the keeper of the light of Israel, as the tribes of the earth no longer mourn, but rejoice, for the light is come, therefore I to say, arise, shine, for the light of thy mighty I am presence is come, and a people unto God have made themselves ready for the outpouring of the vials, not of karma, but the vials of mercy and forgiveness and the light of the seventh ray. My beloved, in the sun of all suns, in the great central sun, we salute thee, and the power of Arcturus and Victoria this day is implanted in this earth as in your very souls, as the electrodes of the Father, Mother God, that the people who have walked in darkness might now see the great light of the host of the Lord appearing of Sanat Kumara come again and above all the mighty I am presence resplendent as the power of the Godhead that does absolutely guarantee to every life stream of God the option for the grand return to infinity. My beloved devotees of the light of freedom, be seated now in this cloud of fiery violet flame which we have established in the etheric octave for the magnetization here of that power and portent of freedom. Freedom that can restore hope to those here and there in the world who have lost hope and who have a right to yearn for, yea, to demand of the Almighty a physical sign that that 
claim of freedom is come and that their deliverance is nigh. Because heaven and earth are one this day, because people upon this planetary body have heeded the word of their mighty I am presence and who have seen that light, therefore we say, beloved, there can go forth now that purple lightning of the seventh ray to contact those bowed down by their karma, bowed down by world karma, and the dark cycle in Aries, which has been the subject of our consideration now these many weeks. Thus the forty weeks, and know the interpretation thereof, for thou hast worked and thou hast saved thy light, and thou hast hearkened unto the word. Thus, beloved ones, I come in the joy of freedom's flame to tell you that the statement of your physical commitment to the great white brotherhood and to the teachings of the ascended masters and more that is to come for the acceleration now is needed on that foundation which is laid does place before us in this hour that opportunity granted from the great central sun that the causal bodies of the saints ascended anchored to the causal bodies of the saints in embodiment and the chilas of the ascended masters may indeed bear the balance of the dark cycle in Aries in this hour and continuing so long as that power of violet fire is spoken from your lips daily in the victory of the Godhead. beloved the very sinister force itself which has determined to put every obstacle in the face of the messenger and the chilas one by one worldwide in these preceding hours and weeks they no longer shall have as an instrument to work darkness in the earth as that veil of world karma and the dark cycle they will no longer be able to multiply the wickedness of the wicked and the momentum and the layers of karma that have been a building and so you see it is a window a dispensation an hour and a moment in the glory of God when a people who fear his name I am and who have the compassion and the heart for their brothers and sisters worldwide might direct that violet fire into the very hearts of those who need it most and deliver a planet for you will no longer have to penetrate through that dark cycle in Aries for it will have been held in abeyance and balance by the combined momentum of the causal bodies of the great white brotherhood masters and chilas one by one in the mighty figure eight flow as above so below do you see then precious hearts it is a moment to inundate light with a violet flame and so we have come to deliver our mandate to elemental life and to you in the joy of the victory of freedom's flame won't you be seated You have heard the scripture read, written down by the one known as Isaiah concerning the restoration of Israel after the period of darkness and gross darkness covering the land. Recognize first of all that past 
present and future are occurring at different hours and timelines according to the consciousness, the altitude and the latitude and longitude positions of individuals and also the planes of consciousness in which they dwell according to the levels of their karma. Thus that which is present for the keeper of the flame, the aspiring one, the ascending one, may be future for others. And for we who are ascended, of course, it is past. Therefore understand the interpretation of prophecy. There has been darkness and gross darkness which you have borne individually, many of you, as the dark night of your souls moving through and balancing your own personal karma. This now is a moment when you see light, when you come to the clearing, and when you find in the very physical establishment of this retreat the clearing also of your consciousness and your rising from the sea level, the levels of the astral plane, and there is a perception, yea, an affirmation, yea, a glorying in the light that you have not known since you descended from higher octaves and tainted your wings and found your wings ultimately clipped until you could not fly no matter how far and wide you may try. Beloved hearts of living flame, realize then, though your personal karma may not be balanced, the weight you have borne of that portion of world karma now held by the causal body of yourself and all as one does permit you an opening for acceleration for the direction of light into hearts of people where hitherto you have not thought it possible unto the people of light who know the light and worship the great I am therefore the gross darkness is past is passed for a dispensation and for certain weeks and certain cycles in the formula of the 72 which is the power of the nine and your own power of the threefold flame three by three in the victory of that light it also is the power of the seven and two secret rays which you must master and be diligent in pursuing all tests and initiations of the inner self, the inner mind and the soul and the spirit communing with God and rising by the sacred fire breath, by the threefold flame, by the kundalini fire to new heights and depths of self-awareness in God. For I tell you, the very momentum of the dark cycle itself pressing in has heretofore prevented you from expanding and opening your arms and singing the hymns and anthems of the free and knowing that freedom and taking dominion and not succumbing to the lesser self and the foibles thereof. Thus, beloved ones, while you have the light, so work in the work of the Lord and work in his vineyard, for it is that moment when light bearers may rush in, when the Gentiles, meaning the foreigners, those who are not native to the knowledge of Sanat Kumara, may be drawn in, for the way is clear. It is as though the Red Sea were parted again, and that moment of the corridor of light were upon you. So, beloved ones, I may tell you that as you take advantage of these hours and weeks, weeks in the 72, beloved, understand that that may create a new, an original leaven, a momentum of freedom which will give to Saint Germain the balance for all of those endeavors for which he has secured grants from the karmic board in the last 400 years and for those grants having had to pay the price for faithless reprehensible mortals who stole his light met their nemesis turned the other way and decided themselves to become demigods beloved ones that culmination of your service in the 72 weeks for planet earth can lay before the lords of karma through the violet flame through your invocations the paying of the last farthing of all that has become the debt of saint germain and thus you see if that is fulfilled by his chilas in these years 
Saint Germain will once again be permitted to go before not only the Lords of Karma, but the Great Central Sun for a brand new dispensation of light propelling the earth nearer and nearer to that golden age. And that is held in the heart of Saint Germain as the most precious jewel of his desiring and including the desiring of his heart in the oneness of your own heart as you serve with him and as his hands and feet for you see Saint Germain dearly desires to avert cataclysm and war and nuclear war on earth and he seeks the grant of the central sun that can implement that stopping and arresting fully of that spiral of war through the judgment of the warlords, through the binding of those who have been with the earth for generations and hundreds of thousands of years attempting to control the populations of the planet through war and destruction and bloodshed and taking the blood of the light bearers to perpetuate their own non-existent state. Beloved of the light, you who have studied the deep things of God will understand the portent of this moment and you uh, who have not may rejoice to learn of the moment of Saint Germain once again coming closer and closer to the light bearers and freedom fighters of the nations. Oh, beloved hearts, I tell you, we, the Elohim of God, have shown our determination in these seven weeks of the delivery of the word and this violet flame of the seventh ray is saturating the earth of the entire area as angels of the violet flame have encamped 1,000 mile radius from this center point of this heart of the messenger to prepare the land to erase the ancient records of murder, bloodshed, greed, and all manner of laggard evolutions who have lived here and who have used this land in the past 500,000 years and beyond. It is to make once again the soil and the earth virgin that we come. For if this area can become a mighty disk of violet flame, it can be as though a point on earth would glow as an amethyst jewel of light and be seen from afar the first glimmer of light emitted from a darkened star and unto you the sacred opportunity for the keeping of the flame of freedom. Such a joyous age we live in for this flame itself which is the requirement of our devotion, our striving, our overcoming, our self-mastery of the seat of the soul chakra is truly so beneficial to those who serve it that I tell you to neglect so great a salvation should be the pity of at least two and a half million years of planetary evolution. Thus we understand the law of geometry. We understand the squaring of the heart flame. We understand the power of Christ in you. And we know that the quality of the light bearers, like the quality of the single diamond, that which is perfect is worth far more than 10,000 stones which are not. Of course then, if the diamond of your soul has a few flaws, again, you benefit by the seventh ray dispensation. Have you not heard of the wonder man of Europe, beloved Saint Germain, who attempted to draw into the very mystery of God through the alchemy of the fire of his hands, the healing of the stones, why he would take from those living in a superficial age their gems and return them to them perfected and worth far more than the original and they would be in all but just as those who came to eat the bread and the fishes in the presence of Jesus so and Jesus said to them seek the living word seek not the meat that passes away but seek that which is the eternal bread I am the bread of life which came down from heaven so Saint Germain stands with a power of supernal alchemy in his heart 
to give to you the multiplication of your light, your abundance, your love, your wisdom, your mercy, and that substance in your hands when you have thoroughly consumed all records of greed and selfishness and the desire to take from one or another or those in the world and thus thinking that you yourselves must multiply and take from others through your busyness and take inordinately for the inordinate taking of the light is that of which we speak we know that the laborer is worthy of his hire but it is the excessive multiplication of profits that does steal the very light of the economy and a free economy that ought to remain free but which will not remain free so long as the people who enjoy it do not oppose the cosmic honor flame do not realize i am my brother's keeper and realize they have an obligation in that threefold flame to multiply the light and then share the blessing with all thus true charity of the heart replaces the necessity for world socialism or the commune system or world communism you see it is always given as the correct alternative to a corrupt capitalist system the corruption of the west of its morals the degradation of life therefore pointing the finger they gain converts i say the west is to blame for the proliferation of communism on this planet and no one else is to blame for these fallen ones should have long ago been stopped by the armies of joshua therefore i tell you seek not the secrets of the alchemist saint germain for private gain and profit unto yourselves but realize that when you transcend all of this and desire his gifts solely for the healing of a planet then you shall have those gifts and nothing can take them from you in the power and the admonishment of the holy ghost i tell you blessed hearts give and give freely multiply and let your heart overflow with water of life and with the sacred fire and then you shall know what it is to be an example of the abundant life to restore an economy to be the jewel in the heart of saint germain that is an electrode to multiply the fire and the reversing of the tide and the flame of freedom throughout the world why there ought to be such an inundation of mercy power light freedom love and peace from this heart that all upon earth can do naught else but leap to their feet and praise the Lord their God and welcome the hosts of freedom into their nations. And thus you see from this very heart there can go forth that spark, that spark of freedom. And not one but each of you can be the bearer of the torch of the goddess of liberty that will light a world with violet flame and with golden illuminations flame from the heart of Helios. For if you think that I bring you the good news of the central sun, wait until you hear the message of Helios. Now I am bearing the violet flame as the pillar from the central sun into the very heart of the earth. And this pillar of violet flame is the power, a whirling action of centripetal and centrifugal force simultaneously as the Tai Chi of the Elohim of the seventh ray, turning every which way in the garden of God, the garden of Maitreya itself. And this power unto freedom is the power to restore your souls. 
your soul chakra midpoint between the solar plexus and base of the spine is the seat of the seventh ray of freedom. Therefore I come to heal your souls of sin and the sense of sin and the misuse of the sacred fire as that mother light rises from the base of the spine, reaches the soul level, is prepared to ascend, and then is corrupted in all manner of debauchery and self-indulgence and frittering away time, time which is the eternal commodity of the mother in matter. I tell you, there must be the healing of the soul of the West the soul of America, for they do not respond, they do not take the challenge, they do not have a concerted, united plan in these Western nations, but they only band together on the basis of greed and for economic purposes. They ought to band together, I tell you, to say to the Soviets, thus far and no farther, you may not even keep what you have taken. Go back into your lair, go back you have no power. We do not fear your saber rattling. We do not fear your rockets. We do not fear your implements of war. You have no power. They do not say it, for they have not seen or used the power of the seventh ray in combination with the white fire of the mother. Therefore, visualize now the purity of the white gardenia and the intensity of purple fire and see the twain as that power rich in the body and blood of Christ for world transmutation. See this moment, beloved hearts, as the hour for the God determination of yourselves as ambassadors of the nations to not leave this conference until you have drawn on paper what ought to be the correct decisions and alternatives of the heads of state of your governments with regard to standing against this world cancer of world communism. Do you not realize that if this nation were under communist rule, you could not gather, we could not speak, and the release of the great white brotherhood could not be physical? It ought to move you to realize that this is the goal from Moscow, from Cuba, and from the rebellious ones such as Gaddafi who have other motives in mind with their terrorism. This is the goal to snuff out the flame of freedom that speaks now through the messenger, that speaks now through the disciples, and will speak through every freedom fighter on earth before you are done your work. For I know the delivery of that work, beloved ones, will be the transmission of such a fervor and such a power of the mother as depicted in India, the veritable tigress that goes forth to wrestle with beasts and demons and devils and goes into the very core of hell to bind it less one such denizen of hell does trample upon a single of the holy innocents. Understand, beloved hearts, that the spine has been lost in the West, and that spine comes from the absence of the conservation of the life force in the body temple. Not alone the conservation, but the raising of that life force the activation of the chakras, the recitation of devotions unto God. For when this takes place, beloved hearts, believe me, walking, unascended beings, such as yourselves, no better, and even perhaps a little less excellent, become living, moving, tangible electrodes of the great central sun of their own mighty I am presence. This is not such a complicated procedure. Why it happens in the twinkling of an eye. It happens by the power of the Holy Ghost as quickly as you can see fit to let go of your grasping of material things and materialism. And I do not necessarily mean in the physical sense 
but it is almost a possessiveness, as it were, of the things you love most, or of the universe, or of a certain way of life. A clinging for security when all the world is in fear to something that is no better than the trinkets which the white man offered to the Native Americans. And thus, for trinkets, a nation is lost then and now. They sold themselves, took the fire water, became decadent. And so, this is the plot on the West. You would fight if they attempted to do here what they do in the Soviet Union. You would not stand for the physical confinement, but you allow the spiritual slavery of your life. And you do not perceive that it is calculated, beloved hearts. It is true. Astral bombardment, sources beyond this world, such as spacecraft, all type of mind manipulation, and through drugs, the altering of the genes and the psyche to produce the attention turned in upon itself, upon the body, upon the release of sensation and momentary pleasure of all kinds. And I should mention eating itself as a preoccupation to ease anxiety and to create a moment of pleasure and afterward ten moments of agony and the shortening of the lifespan and the inability of the light to flow to the body temple for it is cluttered. Tensions are high on the earth and even light bearers find themselves responding and then, as a means of resolution and establishing peace to lower their vibration or squander their light. When you increase the light of the mother in your temple, you will notice a certain power within you that you will learn to master. It can easily be wrongly channeled into old momentums of aggressiveness. Power is something you must learn to deal with. For unless there be power in some men's spines, some women's hearts, some children's souls, the West will go down. This is why the window is needed, a violet flame dispensation. But where will you go scattered hither and yon? You must organize yourselves. You must set forth this platform for the liberation of nations. You must determine what is the most dangerous encampment of the communist forces and nations about to topple. And you must direct your decrees into the cause and core of it. You must be organized and you must have self-reliance and not put upon this staff and messenger this project. You have good karma to earn for yourselves and your nations and your background. You have debts to repay for all living upon this planet have in some form at one time or another contributed to the enslavement of its people. And a little taste of slavery in this life or a past life is the inoculation to give you the God determination to throw it off and to save others. Therefore, beloved ones, know this, that the strategies of the communist forces can be seen in their maneuvers this very day. The palm of your hand should surely show each point on the globe where you must daily direct that light and challenge this darkness. I tell you, they have no power. It is real. You have a threefold flame in your heart. You have the blessed light of the star of Aquarius. I was the one who showed the messenger, the nocturnal vision of millions of Soviet troops with expressionless faces and glassy eyes. Programmed robots. 
beloved hearts. One such as Joshua, one such as David, one such as you, in the power of your heart, kneeling before your bed at night is all that is required as a signal to the host of the Lord, as the authority to step in and bind that which is not, that which is godless, is not real. It exists on the belief of the West that it is real. The West has not only given gold and wheat and technology and secrets, it gives its faith to the Soviet army. Your belief that they are powerful is the only power they have. Understand the logic and the strategy of war and peace. If this day, this nation, and all free nations would recognize that they literally exist on toothpicks, that they have no backing of the spirit, no ability to carry on in this world conquest, they would literally crumble. Those expressionless faces would suddenly be filled with the Holy Ghost. They would throw down their guns, tear off their uniforms. Can you imagine a revolution in the Soviet Union? Well, I send forth the call this day to the souls of Mother Russia you have the backing of Elohim all. You have the backing of freedom fighters worldwide. You do not need the backing of the powers that be in these nations that do not act, that always compromise, that betray. No matter what they say, they betray. And this nation is no exception. You do not need them, people of Mother Russia, for you have the light bearers of a planet. You have yourselves. You have your mighty I am presence. God is with you. God is in your heart. They may stop a hundred or a thousand or a million, but they cannot stop a hundred million. Realize that the people themselves can conduct this revolution if you will take upon you the challenge I give you, which is another, and that is to plan and execute your spiritual revolution, which, beloved ones, is in fact the diagramming and the writing of the decrees of the word to be given to the mother that she might recite them and give them the moment and the spirit of her office. Thus, when you feed the mother the specific details and the correct writing of these decrees, and when on a worldwide basis there is concentration nation by nation, a weekend or a week at a time in the prayer vigils, you will see change. And there must be accompanying this spiritual revolution, the concerted attempt to deliver to those nations in question, to deliver to the light bearers there, the teaching and the knowledge of the science of the spoken word. And second, to the decree work of the spiritual revolution I call, there is nothing more important than the education of the light bearers from the youngest to the eldest, both in the precepts of the teachings of the ascended masters and in the knowledge of the fundamentals from the basics to the two-year-olds, to the accurate knowledge of world conditions in those in high school. It was beloved Pallas Athena who stood and gave forth the cry of the goddess of truth for the coming revolution in higher consciousness. Beloved ones, the day has come. 
That coming revolution is now. Now is the accepted time for the light bearers of the earth and keepers of the flame. Now is the present. As the armies of the Lord move and as the children of Israel move, their movements contain perhaps miles of humans assembling and moving together and those at the head of the line are in the future of those who are at the rear. Thus you understand for those who read the magazine that revolution is about to come. For you, you are fully and totally engaged in it. Perhaps the single missing element that needs just an adjustment in your consciousness is that the realization must be that there is far more backing of the great white motherhood, far more power in this activity and in your spoken decrees today than there was 10 years ago. If you could know that 15 minutes of decrees, specific and in the violet flame, could save a nation, could give to freedom fighters that extraordinary strength to overcome, could loose the armaments and weapons needed by those fighting, fighting against this international cancer with inadequate implements. You would give it, I am certain. Thus the doubt creeps in, the false belief that my 15 minutes of decrees this morning will not make a particle of difference on the world's scene. It will not make a difference whether or not I decree. Therefore, I will tend to my business. It is more important. Beloved one, with far less toil, St. Germain is ready to multiply by his alchemy your abundance. For he, the grateful master of Aquarius, is only too ready to express his gratitude to you, beloved one, with increased assistance to make your life less burdensome and freer. When you prove you can use your time under burden and stress for the glory of God, God will expand time and give you more time to do the same. But you must bring the widow's might of time and dynamic decree to Saint Germain. And then, thus establishing your self-mastery, he will increase it. Strive for excellence in the virtue of non-desire of self-gain. Non-desire of self-gain, and God will add unto you all things. Therefore, we desire a program of decrees, decreeing for the implementation of the undoing of that which has been taken by the communists since 1917, including Mother Russia, including the great land of China. These communists may not sit in the seat of authority and decide when they may be lenient when they may have a period of relaxation and more freedom and more private enterprise as they do in China, handing out favors and taking them away just as easily. They are not the instruments of the salvation of China. And I speak to the Chinese as well. You too must be liberated from your fascination with material goods, lest you also be enslaved by the next beast which has already attacked your Western brothers and sisters and your own leaders dangle before you these products, these things, so that you will forget that the fight for freedom is the fight for the eternal liberty of your soul. Your souls are destined to be free, people of China. And Kuan Yin does extend new dispensations 
and I charge and I challenge the President of this nation and the Congress of these United States not to abandon Taiwan for the Great White Brotherhood is about to use that dual amethyst for the regaining of freedom on the entire mainland. Do not forsake it. Do not indulge yourselves in the idea of giving more and more to the communist beast. This is the greatest setback that we have seen in years and years and certainly of this administration. I speak of the giveaway trip of the president to China. It is typical of the absence of spine in those who must create a mandate to their leaders. And if their leaders are spineless, let the freedom fighters provide the will, the determination, and the power. The hour is late. The jaws of the beast open wide, about to devour the remainder of a planet. Let us now, with the great divine director, flood Central and South America with freedom slain, and not that only, but illumination. And again, the power of the sacred fire of the mother, fierce to strip her children of all greed and slothfulness and laziness and abandonment of the clear, crystal clear purposes of our God, taught there by Hercules and Amazonia, Casimir, Poseidon, the god and goddess Meru in past golden ages. South America is what it is today because of the people's abandonment of the perfection of the golden age city of light and the golden age teachers and the masters and that once high culture that was there many, many thousands of years ago far beyond recorded history. They took the light and turned it to self-indulgence. Thus, the poor, the disenfranchised, as well as the rich, are equally guilty in abandoning the God flame. World communism will not save them by promising them economic equality, which is not possible, or more material comforts, or guaranteed jobs, or guaranteed income. The only salvation to the people of South America is to leave off from their substitute religions of psychicism, of astral things and witchcraft and voodoo, which is rampant. Psychic dictatorship and psychic dictations, both. It is their rejection long ago of the true and the living word that has held up the proliferation of the translation of all of the master's teachings into Spanish and Portuguese. Beloved ones, if you will direct your efforts to the challenging of those conditions, voodoo, witchcraft, black magic, psychic, thraldom, materialism, and the rebellion against the original source of light, you will find that these people also will come alive once again and will share that opportunity of the violet flame to take back to themselves that measure of God mastery and soul mastery which they require in order to save their very continent. See all the conditions of consciousness that have replaced the true consciousness of the golden age of peace where violence is no more. See the extremists of right and left, one no better than the other. See them as in their rigidity and their misuse of power they attempt to control when the only real control that will ever work is the God control of the threefold flame, the mighty threefold flame of the heart. Let me dwell for a moment on this mighty threefold flame.
for again the perception must be regained. The perception that, beloved hearts, one threefold flame expanded and balanced holds the balance for an entire city or a nation. One precious child, seemingly like every other child, yet held in the arms of an El Salvadoran mother this day is the heart and the fire that holds the balance of freedom in that nation. And the fire in the eyes of that child is only noticed by the few. See how in the brutality of the extremists, mothers and children are not sacred. And this one mother and child so precious to us. For them I ask your prayers this day. Beloved ones, the babes who are the avatars and Christed ones, need your prayers. Need them in the tradition of the first mother of the flame, Clara Louise Kininger, now the ascended Lady Master. She also, with many who have ascended from these ranks, gather here in such rejoicing that at the ascended level, tears are streaming from their eyes, that they have not lived and served in vain, but that you are the redeemers of all they have lived for and worked for. May you also know that all generations shall call you blessed if you do not neglect so great a salvation. Likewise, ambassadors from the world, study then what nation by nation is blocking the light as a dark cloud over each nation. Is it fear? Is it condemnation? Is it the astral darkness and the karma of the betrayal of the golden age city as in South America? If you can list 10, to 35 points that you know are the perpetual and habitual shortcomings of a society and work on these diligently and fast and pray and take to your heart a single nation or a section of the earth and you as the individual Chila stake your life for the freedom and enlightenment of that area I tell you it will come to pass and 10,000 angels will gather in your service personally, and they shall be violet flame angels of Kuan Yin, of Avalokiteshvara, of the Buddha Maitreya, and Gautama, of Zadkiel, and Holy Amethyst, of our own retreat. And they shall multiply your call, they shall feed the hungry, they shall perform miracles, for the days of miracles are not far spent but are only beginning, for all of the recorded miracles of all scriptures of the world cannot even equal that which is about to come to pass on earth through the transition to Aquarius and through that building momentum of violet flame. You determined to come here for ten days when called. We are grateful that we may send a word guarded through our messenger and that you can feel the confirmation in your heart and know that when we say we need 10 days of decrees, so it is so. And you have brought your cups, not empty, but filled with light. And we have used the light and filled your cups again. And we will intensify. And the ideal condition for the spreading abroad of the light of the mother is indeed under the hierarchy of cancer in that hour of summer solstice and throughout that one twelfth of the year of the sun's determination of the Godhead to intensify the mother for it is a water sign and thus the water of the violet flame covers the earth as the waters cover the sea and so shall the knowledge of God and so shall the enlightenment of the illumination ray from the heart of Jophiel. The great divine director has called for the plan of the liberation of the nation. 
Saint Germain has called for it. You are the living plan. Sealed in your inward parts, Saint Germain has written his law for the deliverance of a planet. It is the mother flame that gives you your organization, the mother flame that gives you the ability to have the sense of order and dominion to rise with the sun, to use the holiness of the morning hours for that service to the world. You can do naught else but imitate that first mother of the flame when you realize how clear and clean the earth is swept by Uriel's angel, preparing a new day and a new page to write on. Thus, arise, arise with the dawn, for thy light is come. Let thy light shine, let it shine on land and sea and in hearts. Establish a telepathy of the heart, not of the mind. Establish the heart's communion with every other heart on earth. How is it possible? We shall make it possible. The power of Elohim, beloved ones. The power of Elohim as a mighty swaddling garment on the earth, as a force field of light, will connect now as never before at the soul level, at the violet flame level, every single heart who is of the light. Therefore understand the prophecy of God unto Isaiah. All of the Gentile nations shall gather and serve thee. What does it mean? God was speaking of Israel, but he was speaking of those who raise up the I Am presence. They will serve and worship the I Am that I Am. They will combine forces with this body of light bearers and the return of the abundant light shall be. It is the spiritual sun behind the sun of this manifestation that they serve, to which they bend the knee. Therefore understand that in this hour and moment, we are tourists and Victoria extend such a mighty outpouring of forgiveness and mercy as to create a burning fire in this entire body temple. We say, forgive, forgive and forgive and let the rivers and the waters now be colored with the violet flame. Not turn to blood, but turn to the wine of forgiveness. Let all flow of the heart be for the forgiving. Not discriminately, but as a flow of forgiveness indiscriminately for your Christ self and I am presence will adjudicate the law. It is essential that your posture be love in all directions. The wine of forgiveness is prepared. And I ask that the servers of communion shall now serve this bread and wine which we do consecrate with the power and essence of the Alpha, the Omega, of the Elohim of the seventh ray. Be filled with forgiveness. Forgive yourself and forgive others. I warn you, all who are present, this dispensation of forgiveness is so great that should you go forth from the hearing and the partaking of our light this day and continue to hold resentment and hardness toward anyone, whether you think they deserve it or not, the Lord will not hold you guiltless and will ascribe to you the full penalty for withholding forgiveness to all life. May it be so in the depth of your consciousness. May there no longer linger any rancor for experiences of past decades. Forgive the messenger if you think she has wronged you. 
It is those who have left off from her company who have not forgiven her for the sins which are their own. Beloved hearts, I contact all upon earth who have ever had contact with the ascended masters in all ages. And this day, angels of mercy go offering the cup of absolute resolution. Absolute putting into the flame of anything that has transpired. This cup offered at inner levels will be responded to by their soul. Will they drink of the elixir of the wine of forgiveness or will they reject it? It is a matter for the keeping of the record of the keeper of the scrolls who will write their decision. For once again, in this propitious moment of Aquarius, the Lord God desires to draw to himself every angel that has ever gone forth, every soul that has ever manifested that rebellion against his word in whatever form it has ever appeared in all ages. Forgiveness is the key to the golden age. None will enter there if they withhold it. For forgiveness is the alchemy of salvation, transmutation, freedom, deliverance. As you meet, so it shall be meted unto you. As you forgive others, so you shall be forgiven. And above all, there is none in embodiment who does not require generously portions of God's forgiveness daily. Thus drink in this wine, and as you drink and as you come to the servers, recite in your heart, I forgive you, and name the names. All of them you can remember and those you cannot, by a sweeping declaration, I forgive any and every part of life who has ever wronged me. And I ask God from the depths of my soul to forgive me also from my misdeeds and transgressions. Thus, beloved ones, only with this shall your joy be full in this conference and forever. Now partake as I send my wave to you of light.
go and sin no more. Thy sins be forgiven thee. This the eternal word of thy Christ requires implementation by thyself. Celebrate the ritual of forgiveness often for the state of non-forgiveness of self and others does not allow you to go forth free in victory to be the joyous one. If you self-conceive of yourself as sinner, then you will act out the part and continue in wrongful ways. Thus I say, Heal and be healed of the sinful sense and the record of sin and go and sin no more and use the mantra of the healing of sin as taught to you by Jesus. I speak of the judgment call. For by calling forth the judgment with Christ's discrimination of the wrongful ways of oneself or another, one places therefore the power of Christ for the binding and the exorcism and the casting out of that wrong, thus liberating the individual to be free from the enslavement of sin and sin enslaving demons and discarnates. The judgment call, therefore, is not a call of condemnation, but of liberation of all people. Thus we judge the unreal and cast it out. It is no more, and we are free to embrace. It is time to heal the economy. It is time to feel now how the earth has changed as you have entered this ritual for cosmic forces and angelic hosts have altered the planetary field according to the dispensation announced that the dark cycle in Aries should be born by the causal bodies of saints ascended and unascended. Thus there is a new sense of freedom and a moment when much can be saved which was thought lost. Listen to those who predict the woes of the economy only for the purpose of healing it of any such oncoming woes. The term woe means karma. Woe to you means your karma shall descend. Your karma be upon you. But this is the hour of the holding back of karma by the power of the mighty tent of the Lord. Thus, the spiritual tent of a people stands between the earth and that descending dark cycle. So, beloved, listen not to the calculators who calculate based upon the dark cycle which they have read, but also understand that causes set in motion must also be transmuted and consumed and elemental life stand ready this day to answer any call made by any devotee at this altar. Thus I call for the singing to the violet flame that elementals might gather and be liberated. I call for the decrees to the violet flame that you might now once again resume the saturation of your four lower bodies for an increase in balance and transmutation for Lord Zadkiel and Holy Amethyst desire to speak to you this night but now your auras are as a supersaturated solution of light and freedom and mercy. Thus beloved ones let us take these hours for rest and recreation and perpetual violet flame decrees and songs for we desire to come again and seal the earth in the tremendous power of this dispensation by the seventh ray. It is essential and I say it again that this violet flame be directed into the specific ills of the economies of the nations and the mismanagement of the funds of the people by the bankers and those in control of their nations resources resources as energy 
resources as money. As I maintain my force field and we anchor our electronic presence here, we desire the singing of the waltz of the flame to anchor an element of life through you. This tremendous victory with the guarded action of blue fire to control the elementals lest they become too capricious by a new freedom hard won. With all of your heart's love, therefore, open the petals of your chakras and let the violet flame of seven mighty Elohim flow through you to the planet as you sing in the three-quarter time of your threefold flame. Number 814.
hierarchs of elemental life, we summon thee, four cosmic forces, Aramis and Diana, Ares and Thor, Neptune and Luara, Virgo and Pelur, mighty Surya and Cuzco, hold steady now the balance of forces in the earth by the blue flame power of Hercules, by the yellow fire of Apollo, by the love of Eros, by the mother purity of the Astraea and the first ray, by the mother purity of purity, by the light of cosmos, by the secret rays of Helios, by the intensity of the very movement of peace, by the light of the all-seeing eye, Cyclopeia, by the seventh ray. Thus, let the first and the fourth and the sixth now, let the five of the secret rays, now let the action go forth. Let the power in the heart of the earth adjust to new planetary cycles and let there be the sealing against all disturbances and cataclysm. Elohim of the fire of God, Elohim of the sun, Elohim of the seven, and the two and the five, Lo, I am, lo, I am, lo, I am. And now it is sealed, and now your hearts of fire shall kindle a new age once again, as did happen in Lemuria, so it shall come to pass again. Four cosmic forces, now place the sign of the square. Now measure the base of the pyramid. Now establish the first step from the base, the seat of the soul chakra. Now establish thou it, and let the mystery school of Maitreya teach the mastery of the seat of the soul chakra and let it become the career of every son and daughter of God to manifest this mastery and to teach it unto all others, mastering the four quadrants and the karma and the evolutionary cycles and the raising up of the mother light to give the flower of Arcturus to all nations. For the power of the constellation does release the power of the violet flame and the adjustments in cosmos remain and shall continue throughout this day and cycle and conference. Thus we shall accomplish that to which we have set ourselves. For the electrodes are in place, O God, and those who have responded are able, and they are willing, and they are merciful, and they are loving, and they shall so be, and guard the flame of love forever and forever and forever. Lo, I am. Lo, I am, lo, I am Arcturus and Victoria, never more to be apart, but ever closer to the atom of the heart and the heart of every atom. In the name of the cosmic cross of white fire, be sealed unto the total victory. Be, therefore, content with nothing less than the complete victory and be satisfied only when thou, O soul, shalt awaken in the likeness of thy own Christ self. I tell you, it is possible. It can be done. It shall be done if you will it so. Do you will it so, my beloved? Yes! I behold you in Christ 
evermore and only in Christ. I am the forgiving grace of God. Always I am the forgiving grace of God. We are requested to sing the next waltz, the Violet Blue Flame Waltz, for elemental life. And to give our own call for elemental life, which I now shall give myself. Lord God Almighty, in the victory of the God Flame, Lo, I am that I am. I call forth the healing of elemental life. I call for the holding of the balance for elemental life in the four cosmic forces. I command the light of the first and the seventh rays to descend now and the power of the violet flame and the power of the will of God to hold all elementals and builders of form and devas in the immaculate heart of Arcturus for the elevation and acceleration of this planet into new spirals of freedom everywhere for and on behalf of the oppressed peoples everywhere and those burdened in heart and soul and mind we sing for the continuing release of the violet flame we pour forth our gratitude to you beloved Arcturus and Victoria for this mighty release of light and we will in our hearts as we vow not by our might but by the will of God and his spirit by the very presence of our Lord Sanat Kumara to fulfill those things to which we are called and to do so with dispatch, with haste, with orderliness, with a profound understanding and research of conditions, fulfilling the responsibility and the mantle of our office as spiritual ambassadors of the nations. In the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, Amen. Number 815.